Hey, Bill, how you doing? All right, I've got your work up here. I don't think I have to download the file because we can definitely see what we're, we're looking for right here. You know, magazine ad looks great. One recommendation for the magazine ad is I would pull this, and I think right now your headline and subhead combination, both in the in the banner ad and the magazine ad, are kind of lodged up into the upper left-hand corner. I'd like to pull it out of there a little bit to just give it a little bit more of an open relationship with the uh, with, with the picture plan, the, the composition. Um, instead of having it stuck up in the corner. It's more drastic here, but nonetheless, what I would do is I would take this whole configuration here in the magazine ad, and I would just bring it right down to about here. And don't worry about that left margin, because that left margin is fine with the with the address, but let's just pull that out of there a little bit and incorporate, incorporate it more into the composition. So let, maybe we can come down here and find something else. Maybe this mark right here, bring it up here, use that as your guide, and set the type right there. And then everything else in the magazine ad looks phenomenal. Good job. Um, I think the banner ad looks fantastic. There's one thing missing, and I think we talked about this. So this is telling, this is a, a little bit of an older iteration, but we need that location. Um, not the whole contact information, of course, just the location. So located in beautiful U.S. Virgin Islands or something like that. Located in St. Thomas, U.S. VI, something like that, right? And you can even tuck that right up there. It doesn't have to be prominent. It's just a, it's a, it's supplementary information. I think that the viewer would um, probably might have uh, something to do with the decision of the viewer to click on the banner to go to the to the website. So I guess what I'm getting at is there's a difference between a resort located in South Carolina and a resort located in the Virgin Islands, right? I mean, it makes a difference. So, um, okay. And then, as I said, we're going to pull this out a little bit here. I'm going to take this, pull it out, maybe try to find something in the image, maybe that crease right there, boop, right there, and then align it right there. Then my only other recommendation to really um, kind of establish some good hierarchy here. Right now, we, we're not seeing, the viewer tends not to even look at the headline subhead combination because this is bigger. And it's in, in terms of hierarchy, you're kind of inducing the viewer to look at this first based on sheer size. Think of a uh, newspaper. Think of the headline is the largest, then the subhead, and then the body copy. So we're drawn to the headline first. Why? Because it's the largest, right? So that's why we're drawn to this right here. It's the largest. So when we look at this, then we look at this and take the, in the, the background image, this becomes becomes secondary information. And it's, since it's a headline subhead, we don't want that to happen. So as I said, we're going to move that in, bring it in the composition a little bit right there. So then just take this and just reduce the size. I'll tell you what another option you could do is... is um, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to let you work on your alignment. I'm going I'm to say, say right there, that area right there, that little crease in the rocks right there would be a good place uh, or anywhere therein. And then just bring this out a little bit and decide on how you want to place this. Just reduce the size a little bit so that it falls in line. You could even increase the size of the headline subhead combination here and then bring that uh, bring that. Um, that that uh, animated promotion in accordingly so you want to remember you want to preserve your hierarchy okay um oh and of course the mass the masked image isn't isn't visible here so that that definitely needs and i think that you did include the mass image in your latest iteration but definitely need the masked image in the banner end. so in summary we need to add the location add the masked image bring in uh, pull that uh, headline subject combination into the into the composition a little bit more by moving it to the right. Reduce the size of the promotional call to action animation just to preserve your hierarchy a little bit. And I think that I mentioned already to include the location. And that's really it. Other than that, I think you're you're good to go. All right. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. But I'd like to see those uh, changes reflected in your final submission, which is coming up here quickly here in, in just a couple of weeks. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. Great job. Thank you very much for sharing.